Hey guys, Drew Fuller Parks After Dark. Hey, we are at Wilderness, Wilderness. Wilderness Lodge. I'm here with my partners in crime. Kenzie and Addie. We're here to check out the resort. Now this is a big resort, it's gonna be a long vlog. Buckle in, it's gonna be great. And we have a surprise. For those who watch our stream, you know what the surprise is. In a second, you'll understand. It's magical. It's Disney magic. And it's about to happen. And I'll show you right now. That colorful, colorful van. That means a character here. We've laid bets. Mickey Minnie is a bet. Winnie the Pooh friends are a bet. We gotta see who's here. They may not be in yet, but at check-in, this is a tip of the day. Near check-in, especially the Lux Resorts, you're probably gonna have characters there as a way to kick off your stay. But we're here to see the whole resort. So let's see who our friends are here. Now, Wilderness Lodge is outstanding. Clearly has the, the exposed wood and the, the log cabin vibe. It's right next to Magic Kingdom. Um, there's actually boat transportation from here to Magic, oh, plus the all the buses. And they got flowers. And welcome to Florida in March. We have fresh flowers. So, give you guys a great, whoa, great view of the center. So that's it, so we're gonna walk up and in. So that's, this is just outstanding. So let's go in and see what we got, see if anybody's here yet. If not, guys, they will be. We have learned the secret code. So here we go. Now, just real quick, look at the lights and the doors. The detail is all Disney all day. How are we doing, sir? I love this place. Okay, so we're in. Now look, this is the first thing you get from this. Hold on, characters aren't here yet, it's too quiet. <laughs> is, boom. Gotta just stop for a second. Look at the scale. It's one, two, three, four, five stories tall. Huge space. Heavy wood. At the top of that wood, look. The rabbit and the relief. Whispering Candy Cafe is one of the restaurants we'll look at shortly. I just want to get a sense of the space. It is log cabin light. They had these beautiful totems that go five stories up all the way to the top. The lights themselves will take a much better look when we get higher up. Not that kind of detail though. But this is just one of my favorite places to be. Here's a little bit more relief on the wood. I just, I really just so impressed. Look at the detail. So you have a buck, and I would go bison, and then across from the one totem is another one. And it goes five stories up. So that is the main area. There's check-in, okay? Big open area. Now listen, I am literally standing right now where they have the Christmas tree. Fish tree in this property is enormous and it is fantastic. So to orient you, we came into the front to our hook, oh, then there's the fireplace. Look at one of those. And they got the stone that comes all the way up. Look at the color stone. They actually have someone that tells you where the stones are from. And then you come down. And that's Whispering Canyon. And that's front desk in the middle way. And then there's a mercantile where the store is. Elevators to go up and away to go back to the other part of the property. And then this is just the first floor. So we want to keep showing you stuff. So that's kind of oriented to the, to the lobby where we are and what's here. Now, one of the key features, neatest features of this lobby is the sense of the inside out. They have all the wood and the log cabin feel, but they got this. So it's like kind of a mini geyser, like a hot spring, or so it looks like. And it literally comes through under that bridge, right? We'll go this way, go this way, so I can see it. And so it goes under. And it goes down here. It goes all the way out. And we'll show you later, it guys shows to a waterfall that goes down, and then further down. It is 
fantastic. So, this is the lobby. This is just this very homey, warm space. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start taking steps up. So what they try to do is make it so it's a place you kind of just want to be. Oh, wait, one thing I do want to show you. One totem, which is very special. And then we're going to go on our way. Have a merch. And by the mercantile, the merch or the store, is this totem. Oh. And this is a very special totem. And who's on top but Mickey himself. sitting on Goofy. He's sitting on Donald. Donald sitting on a bear. Who's sitting on a bear. Donald looking least happy of all. Even the bear looks happier than Donald. But we'll talk about that later. Right now, we're going to show you guys what happens when you head up in this property. So we're going to start heading up. And the noise you're in the background from the <laughs> from my partners in crime is the fact there's a lot of stairs. <laughs> so buckle in. We're doing a lot of stairs. How we doing, sir? Okay, so we're heading up. And we're keeping our eye on friends coming in. That's why we probably were kind of hanging out. <laughs> so we're going to start going up. Hello, restroom. So we go up the stairs. So from lobby next to the restaurant, Richmond like Canyon Cafe. Canyon. Great little door. So we can get that for me. It'd be awesome. Okay, I'll get that. Please. And what's neat about this is a little walkway, right? And that, oh, it oversees kind of the entrance, which would be a great place to see our friends when they come in. Just saying. Then you come through here. Now you're up. Now you're on the second floor. Now we're coming to the third. Lobby's so tall, the second floor really is just nothing. So, now we're coming around. I want to show you, oh, show you one of the neat things. On the third floor up, They have an outside deck. Oh, it's deck. So this is where we just came in. So that's valet. That's a roof line. And if you look way over there in that corner, that's where the Disney carriage is going to come out of. So this is just a big open deck area. And it is just really neat. So it's a way to kind of come out and take a look. And see, and I would guess, if I'm a betting man, and I am, it's probably a great spot to see fireworks. I never thought about that. Guys, you'll probably be seeing a vlog soon of us doing the fireworks from here. So right now, we're gonna go in and finish our tour. All right, so that's the deck on the third floor. Almost no one knows it's there. It's hidden. That's what we like about this place. This place has a sense of, Discovery, you find cool stuff. Like, look at the little windows. In between logs, there's a window. Oh, but what else they have is this. They have these sitting areas, these gas fireplaces. Yes, yeah, Florida. Yes, yeah, spring. But it's just a nice space. And then off this space, a lot of heat coming off that. And that's the lobby. So now we're up two levels. Give you a sense of that. Remember that rabbit I showed you? We'll get eye to eye now. So, but guess what? We have more height to go up. So let's go up one more. Okay. Let's go this way back over to our stairs. All right, now each level probably I think would have a surprise, but we're gonna find out. Now look, stairs are cool to lit. Why are they lit? It's a very dark property because it has a lot, a lot of natural lighting and it's heavy wood. So this helps you see where the stairs are. Safety thing, totally cool. Also, especially at night when you're coming back from the park and you're tired. Now we're up another level. We're right near those lights. Remember I showed those lights earlier? Look at the detail. So it's an Indian hunting buffalo along a ridge at this height, literally for this floor, because in the lobby you really can't see. There's the totem. We're now almost at the top of the totem. Great. So we're gonna pivot around. And what they have over here, or on the floor before, 
they had fireplace. This one actually has just a simple sitting area. Now, I want to keep going around and see one other thing on this level. I want to show you something that I just spy with my little eye. I don't think I've seen before. Going all the way around. Partners in crime are confused. They're like, where are we going? We've never been on this side. Yeah. See? I told you. Look, I just want to show you. That's just, <laughs> that's across the lobby. I love it. I got to show you something. There's another sitting area. What's great about this sitting area? Is I'll show you in a minute. How you doing? How about you? Doing well, my friend. I love Disney staff members. They're the freaking best in the world. So, that's the lobby again, right? That's the front of the property. We may see friends with those or they met. But now look what I found. So, there's an inside sitting area, one floor down. And on the fourth floor here, they have this. Are you kidding me? Down the third floor is one like this. Oh, I just want to show you this. This is the backside of the property, obviously. That creek right there is the water that came from the inside little babbling brook underneath that bridge inside the lobby. It comes down through there and keeps going out. We'll finish showing you where that goes later. You can see the pool through the trees. And in the distance there, that's Bay Lake. So, I want to show you that now. We're on our way back in and we're not done. There's more height to go. So, okay. Now I'm going to ask my quarter car. Quarter car, you want to get, you guys want to sit over there? Okay, we're going to take a part of the car. We're going to take a break. You and I, we got places to go. So we can get the parts of crime back over, and up, up, and away we get going. So the way the, the, the way the lodge works is the, the rooms ring lobby, um, and then there are some rooms that go off shoot off the main building and kind of go down long hallways. You stay down those rooms. There's just they're they're great rooms here. This is a big high five. Hands up. So they're gonna go over there and grab a seat. We're gonna go keep going, guys. So we're going up one more flight. I had a good luck from the partners in crime. All right. So now, we're almost at the top. We're up one more level. Now look, we're above the lights. We're almost at the top of the totem. Just found me an eagle. Love it. And we're not done. Now, scanning around. As you come up, it gets more narrow, so there's less of these little sitting areas. Really kind of point to make here. We're going up again. All right. And we are now at the top. What do they have? Rocking chairs. What? Yes. There's the top of the totem pole. I'm gonna come over to the other side so you can see it. So that's the top of the totem pole. I'm gonna look down. And guys, <laughs> that's the totem. And that's the lobby. And there's the other totem pole on the other side. And there's a TV sitting here. Walk over there and check it out. We are now at the highest point here. It's a sitting area. I don't even know if there are rooms up here. Yes, my first time I've been up here. So a lot of cast member areas. The old faithful club. Wait. Okay, it is locked. So the old faithful club must be a special area that you have to be let in. We're not able to get in, but it's good enough. So look at the roof stuff. Look at the detail in the roof rack. The construction blows me away. There are rooms up here, by the way. Very special rooms, I'm sure. So we're gonna start heading our way back down. So fifth floor, highest point. And you got to come here for the first time with me because I've never been that high up. And it was amazing. 
So we're making our way around. And again, there's your lobby, right? Come on down. So now this is where we pick up our partners in crime. And we say, oh, partners in crime. Will you be joining me? Let's go. So they're going to follow us in. We're back. They're back. <laughs> Just didn't feel like climbing up a whole lot of stairs today. We have enough stairs at home. <laughs> <laughs> so. We're back down to the third floor. There's the deck that goes out to the front of the building. And we're going down the big stairwells to the glass doors. Just kind of orient you guys to where we've been and where we're going. Back through. Now, yes, between you and I, the gate post, there's elevators here. <laughs> it's just really boring if you just saw me hit a button on an elevator, right? So here we go now. That's a push door. That's a push door. I made a mistake of pulling. Thank you, partner. So we are now officially back on the ground. We're back at lobby level. And we are coming through. So, so right now, I'm very curious. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We've seen up there. Now, we're going to go down and show you guys what kind of juts out of either side of the property. So, part of the car, are we going to left, left or right? Which way? We're trying to go left or right? Um, let's go to the left. We're going to go to the left. So, you come straight down the middle of the lobby. There's the creek. To the left. Hmm? Are you kidding me, Colin? What? Hold on, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Now, like we said, we're going to go to the left out of the lobby. There's a little upper sitting area up here, another fireplace area. That's actually seating. Now, this is Artist Point check-in. Artist Point is Snow White themed restaurant. And if we're going to show you, we're going to try to get up there. By far, it is the best character dining ever. Snow White, Dopey, Grumpy, and Evil Queen. And Evil Queen. Intimate contact with all of them. The food, it's a, it's a prefix menu, course after course. And the food is mind-boggling. It is really, really good, really high-end. But this is some of the art they have here. It is really kind of cool. So clearly, you can tell the theming. That, I think, is one of the neatest pictures. It's hard if you've got a glare on it, so sorry about that. So listen, let's go see if we can get in the restaurant. And we can. <laughs> that quick, I can tell you. So there's the sign for the artist point. We're gonna go and see what you can see up here. There is a bar right there to the left when you come up, before you come up to the thing. And here is Artist Point. Oh, and Sally, there's not even a cast member I can try to say anything. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hold it up, and I want you guys to see it, because it's really pretty neat. So that's the dining room. Now look at the top. It's Snow White's Forest. The Enchanted Forest. So the trees are there, they come up the beams. It is really a neat, neat, neat space. There's a photo op area back there in the corner for the Evil Queen. Literally, it looks so much less than what it is when you're in it. So, if you look at the table there, there's a tree trunk that has tears that they put food on. It is by far amazing. So, listen. I will tell you honestly, some of our best times at Disney with dining was in that restaurant. I've been there several times and it was great. Now, here's an upper level bar. This is just a bar area which is really kind of cozy. It's off the thing, it's small, it's quaint. You got big leather chairs, you got bears holding up things. I mean, and look. Frontier. And a map on the ceiling, man. This is awesome. And then they got all the enclosed cases with all the frontier kind of garb and stuff and things you need to be a frontiersman. Which... So this is just a neat bar. And this bar gets pretty good action. I mean, I can tell you, kneading is pretty busy here, but it's really good. Hmm? 
we're gonna go back out the other way because my partner in crime showed me I was about to break the law and go down a closed stairwell. So we'll come back this way. But that's, this is a really neat bar area to go. It's right next to the horse point. It's just, it's nice. So we'll come back down. Um, it's called Territory Lounge. Now we're gonna keep going down. We're gonna go down to their quick service. I'll show you guys that really quickly. So, okay, here we go. Orange you guys again. Lobby. Turn, 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 turn. Up the ramp. Lounge. Snow it. And artist point. Down the ramp. It's Roaring Fork. Roaring Fork. And no, forks do not ro roar. That's just the title. So we're going down the ramp. So, what's good and bad about this ramp? Going down, lovely. Going up, not so much. And the room's down here. We had to move a luggage cart down this, which was dangerous enough, and back up, which was brutal. If you brutal. want to make this fun, you can run up and down it. <laughs> yeah, you could. So, I'm coming down. It's like climbing up a mountain. I think it's what's supposed to be. So. Now, we're going to not go outside. We're going to be outside in a second. I want to show you the fast service restaurant. Roaring Fork. And we'll go from there. So, Roaring Fork is right here to the left. Straight ahead, obviously, goes out, out to the outside, which we'll show you in a couple minutes. And there it is. Roaring Fork. Now, this is mobile dining. This is, you can do it through your app and get the food here, get sent in. But this is really good quality food and really well themed. And it still stays at a rustic feel. So here you go. Heavy wood paneling, wood pillars, state of the city. Not a big space. A lot of people grab and go here. But what we're gonna show you is in here. And that's where the action is. So. This is where we're working. This is where all the fun happens. So this is the kitchen, kitchen area, right? Pick up your goal orders there. Now this is the menu. Now this menu, I can tell you, is not anything bad on this menu. Full pork sandwich is the same. Okay, here's your salad. And they do have a kids menu as well. And it's all Disney. And then we're straight over here. As we come, we'll show you they got the desserts. Now this one is just bumblebee with the bear. Remember the bear from earlier? That's it. Oh wait, there's another bear. Notice the theme. There's a Mickey cupcake. It's a s'mores cupcake, 100% right with a Mickey. And then here, it looks kind of volcanoy to me. And then the back there, there's another one. So those are the desserts of this place. That's what it is. And then they have the bakery. The bakery items are outstanding. Now this is not bought by some local baker. This is made here and they're outstanding. Look at this. Now this is my one of my favorites. It's the campfire cupcake. Look at that. So you got the fire, you got the marshmallow burning, you got the embers of the stones. Top notch. And then you got your, your good old fashioned Mickey Brown. We're gonna zoom back out and we're gonna start heading this way. So that's the Roaring Fork. Roaring Fork Van Rock. And wait, we gotta get away. There he is. We love Disney people. Come with us, we're going on. All right, so we're heading out. If you were to keep going down that way, there's rooms, we're not going to the rooms. We're heading back up the lobby. Why are we heading back up the lobby? We saw the RV. The RV means they're characters. If there's characters, Florida Parks After Dark's gotta be there. Why? We love Disney characters. So we're gonna head up. I'm gonna finish the interior before we go outside and really show you <laughs> really, we're only halfway done. So we're gonna to go together now. And remember I talked about that ramp coming down? Yeah, we're going up now. So if I start getting out of breath, that's why. What is great about this resort? It's sprawling, it's a big space. The spaces are large. You don't feel enclosed at all. It doesn't feel ever like it's full. It always feels like you got room to move. The noise levels are kept well. But for Christmas, come here. I am telling you, come here. The Christmas tree is amazing. Everybody wants to go to the Grand Floridian and want to go to the, come here. That's all I have to say. So, back in the lobby. So now we come back and loop back through. And no friends yet. <laughs> to assume the magic number is three o'clock. And the time is? It's 
250. We're guessing in 10 minutes, there will be a bumper crop, or at least two, coming through. So, we're back over to the store, showed you the store, coming back this way. And this, Wilderness Lodge Mercantile. Established in 1994, mostly when they built it. And now we're in the store. We're in the store. And immediately, Lumberjack Mickey. Boom, welcome. I just noticed there's a canoe up there. Oh, check that out. Good catch. But look what we got here. Oh. oh. Now, what? one of the desserts that they serve up the, there is the, Snow White's... It's the Huntsman's Gift to the Queen. Home, the Huntsman's Gift to the Queen is a dessert. It's... Popcorn it's and chocolate Popcorn. Hearts. It's just freaking awesome. So they got Smokey the Bear. Clearly is our character for the day. And check this out. Remember the wildfires? And if you want a copy of that totem out front, it's a magnet. They have it here. Magnet and a little So we'll come through. Any woodland creature like Bambi is represented. There's a moose. Oh, but wait. Totally new and different. Well, it's like ears. And there's a long spot. Guess who that is? Goof. Doing the goof thing. Let's see if the back has anything. Donald. Donald. Mickey. And Mickey. Now, it looked like Mickey had a gun for a second, but he does. He's pointing. So, <laughs> I'm going to retract that. And this... Wow. That's okay, this is a wow. This is a... This is a... Whew, a lounge fly of size I've not seen before. It's huge. Hold on, let's put it down here. Has a backpack back. Let's check the price. $88. Now, I'll tell you honest, that, that's a number that catches your attention. But guys, this is more luggage than lounge fly. Stamp or Wilderness Lodge. I, wow. Okay. When Christmas comes, I know what I might be asking for. So we come through, and then we come over the other side. And then we got Mickey doing vacation adventures. You have another set of ears, and a lounge fly, and this is this is vacation club kind of garb and murky merch. And guys, they have the black and gold. Now, you guys have seen any of the videos with me, you know this is the color combination I love. Love this color combination. Look at that. That's a sweatshirt. But this, this, 65, 64, 50. It's a great, great spirit jersey. What the front has? Let's take a peek. Front has the embossed Mickey. The Sentinel's castle behind it, man. That's just so awesome. Like that, that's really great shirt for a woman. Great water mug. The black and gold is something that I just love personally. And then they got all the pinks. So you go from the black and gold to the pink with the matching sweats. And you get the flip flop. So you do a whole thing here. So that's just awesome. So come through. They got hats, they got them organized really nice here. So got your minis and your Mickeys, right? Vacation club. Here's a set of kind of old fashioned ears, like I used to get my kids. And then come over this way. Look right here, old time Steamboat Willie Mickey. Great baseball hats. And then you have the different flip-flop mini. I like that. Mini's coming back alive. Now. <gasps> okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. That's goofy hat. But wait, they have. Okay, I guys. <laughs> Alright, so it's a hat. It's a raccoon hat. Look, there's the tail. Oh, it's awesome. Alright. Sorry. Things catch me. Here's the ears. Now these ears are really great. Now these are wish ears for the new movie Wish. Have five ears. Look at the bow. It's fantastic. But it's really nice ears. Oh, they got graduation ears. Could have got that for Vito we did recently. But look at these. Dessert ears. Oh, awesome. Then you get your pride ears. Star Wars ears I hadn't seen before. Real impressive. coming through and this is this is the New Year's stuff and, and the, the, the neat lounge so I'd make you up to the castle and then here's that spirit jersey we've seen before which is really just very cool 
when this gets to the outlets, this is going to be probably one of mine. It has all the iconic features of the parks. And then here's some Christmas ornaments, which are really popular. And listen, normally I don't do shirts like this, but this this could be it. You got dragons, and you got castles, and you got you got the tree, you got the safari bus. That, that's a cool shirt. Okay, sorry, getting distracted. So now they have the acorn mug, guys. It's an acorn mug. Dude, <laughs> I love my mugs. Okay, so I took the acorn top off this one, right? It could be a mug, it could be a soup bowl. I like coffee so much, it's a mug for me. We come back through here. This is a big store, it's a great store. You guys, we've seen it before, we're gonna see him again. I love them, Mickey and Minnie bunnies. They're the best. Really cool Mickey here. Pride Mickey. These are all kind of the kids clothes and kids toys. The store keeps going, this is what I love. They went to this cream product line. It's very subtle stuff you can put in your house, even if you're not kids. It's subtle Mickeys everywhere. So it's not just overwhelming bright colors, but it hints to your love of Disney without overwhelming maybe a nicer property or a nice living room you have. So that's really good stuff. They have your standard Mickey snacks. And then you have your drinks. And then what we have to have are lollies. Our lollipops were a basic staple when we went to the park. We had to get off our, our we the poo ride, we had to get yes. lollipops every single time. Giant lollipops. And then they got these guys. We've seen these guys before. Different way though. We've seen these guys. Oh, there's a Marie. Look at that. And a Dumbo. Hmm. Just saying. All right, so. Guys, this is the store at the Wilderness Lodge. It is outstanding. So we're gonna, go, uh, there's some lounge flies that they have. They got stuff, really good stuff. Tucked like everywhere. Man, you can stay in the store for hours and get lost. Really good. Oh my goodness. Minnie Mouse, lounge fly, really neat. Okay, so listen. We got another half of this resort to see. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna go to our next adventure. See you guys. All right, guys, so we just left the store. We're going out a door directly to the right of the store. So you're off the lobby to the right and coming down. Now, what do you always have in every, wait first. <laughs> I love it. But what else you have is an arcade. Why? Because it's Disney. It's kind of, it's a, it's, wow, okay. It's not a bad size arcade really for the space it's using. It's a tight space. But it has arcades and then obviously your recharging station so you get cars loaded water rides and it comes over here and then they have your photo booth and they have a real pinball machine oh this is awesome they got skiing they got the race cars photo booth as you already said plane simulators motorcycles but really, as a parent of two very active kids, what do I want? The massage chair. I'm gonna stay here for a second. The massage chair. Now this photo booth is interesting. You actually can get the superheroes superimposed onto your picture and it can make you look like you're a cartoon character. Really kind of neat. So that's the arcade for us right here. And guys, we're gonna move on to the next thing, because why? We haven't even gone outside yet. All right, guys, now we just came out of the arcade, which is right there. Buttons and bells. Yes, button and bell. And there's the cow bell. Get button and bell. And we got a ring bell, and we ring bell. Cow bell. So now that goes up out to the front of the property. We're going down along the side. So we're kind of- And there's a squirrel. All right, so here, let's show you this. So. The villas 
or DVC, but you can rent if you don't have DVC. Health Club straight ahead. To the right is a bike and boat rental. I mean, to the left. To the left is the cabins. We're going to see a cabin before we're done. And we go this way. It's a bus transportation. That's a bus transportation. And there's a bus staying there. Anybody who knows about us knows we like buses. So as you go through here, this is Boulder Ridge Villas at Wilderness Lodge. So these are what makes differentiate between a villa and a hotel room is there's going to be a kitchen or kitchenette. There's going to be a dining area. There's going to be, so look, think of condo slash small apartment. Yeah. That's really what okay, a villa is. Okay, talk about the detail on the, of the built hotel room? Okay, my, I'm being scolded. We got to talk about the detail. So look at the outside of the building. So you got shaker, shaker siding there on the bottom. Goes up to pan side and it goes um, horizontally. And the very top, you got the green. So, what does it look like? A tree. Trunk, upper trunk, top of the tree. Oh, wow. Blends into the environment. It doesn't stand out. It didn't make it purple and polka dot it. It made it look like the environment to which it is actually occupying. With what is this? Disney blends everything. There was a time, guys, back, we had stayed here once, and I'll get to share a little Florida Parks After Dark history. When they had, we had a hurricane, and we would come to Disney, it was a hurricane. That's a whole other vlog for a different day. So we would come here, and it was during the storm, and we walked around, the storm was trying to be a nothing, and guess what? We owned it, so we walked everywhere. So it was just awesome. So, so this is, DVC. this is DVC, we're gonna poke in. So, so this is, DVC properties. So this is a different space, right? So really it's a smaller area. It's where the villas are. It comes out to your birdhouse. And we just pan up one, two floors, three floors, four floors, and a really cool chandelier. That is awesome. So we're gonna come back down this way. And I wanted to show you the elevator doors. We're not gonna get in the elevator. We don't do elevators. Let me show you the door. It's in the hall. I'm trying to get you there. So there's a bear with the train. Those who know anything Disney, Walt's Disney, love the train. Comes out in a canoe. It's etched into the doors. I mean, it's that kind of stuff. Which just and there's of, a moose. And there's a moose. So we're going to come back through here to the lobby. I got another fireplace, and then really quaint sitting here. So this is a very quiet space. Wait, there's a health club. So we're not we're gonna just we're not gonna work out. But look at health club window has a tree with mussels. That's reminiscent of that one short. The flowers and trees. The flowers and trees. And it, it was actually um, so the that's, first silly symphony that was with color. Actually. So that's inside the gym. Okay, I'd say it's a good size gym for really what you got. We're not staying here, so we don't have a key to get in. So we're gonna go keep going this way and see what else we can find. Why? We're just checking it out. Oh, look at the cabinets. Wait. What's this? Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is a back sitting area. This is fantastic. And here. Oh, look at that. Now, guys. If somebody could look at this little sign, tell me what this is, I'd really appreciate it. Um, okay. It's, it's the Carol Pacific train cars. Before the Disneyland Railroad existed, there was a Carolwood Pacific, a miniature one-eighth scale steam railroad Walt Disney designed for his family home in Los Angeles. These original freight cars built by the first Disney Imagineer, Roger Brody, Rod Drakeford Walt, and anyone who visited his five-acre property on Carolwood Drive. So this is actual train car from a miniature railroad that he had set up in his backyard. And there are video of him sitting, driving the train with people sitting on these cars. How cool is that? Now, I guess that's the smoking area. Here's another sitting area, another fireplace, which is awesome. Quiet areas, we're gonna get out of here as we tell you all about it. And then that goes out the back of the property, but I still want to see the lobby because I think we're probably getting close, right? Yeah. 
right? No. We're gonna go check. So we're heading back to lobby. Why? Because we think we got friends. We're well, not gonna go. Pizza, animals at the top. That is really true. So just like in the main lobby, they carved these in. This kind of detail with the really out of Alright, so we're gonna start heading back out guys. So listen, we're gonna head back out to the lobby. We wanted to see if our friends have come or not. They're bound to come at some point. We're very Sesame. We're very patient. Thank you very much. Can you do it again, kids? Open Sesame! She's amazing. <laughs> so we're back out. We're gonna head back up. So guys, we hit the lobby, we'll let you know what we got. So at long last, we are back in the lobby. You look outside. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen. We found the characters! Uh, this is Addy from Sunburst Up right here. Ah, uh, Goofy has caught attention. Oh, do you like my bunny ears? Hello! Oh my gosh, what a Goofy! Hi, Goofy! Ah, uh, bunny ears! Yes! Tall C, so are you excited? It's gonna be great! Jump, jump, jump at the bunny! <laughs> Hey, it's Donald! <laughs> this is what we call Disney magic. Donald's still out here. Jesse, it's one of more magic things about coming here today. Come to the well work. <laughs> so for information, usually the characters come at like 3.20, 3.30, which is check-in time. And you never know what characters you're going to see, and they're at the deluxe resorts, like this one, and Grand Floridian. Loving all the attention today. It's all right, Donald, you stay right here in camera with us, buddy. We got you. Oh yeah. Well, all right. We gotta share, Donald. I hate to tell you. We'll come with you. There's two. We got a dancing group. We got a dancing group. Oh, 
far as Captain Jar saying hi to Goofy. Oh, oh. Hi, Goofy. Hey, there he is. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. Yes. The Goofy. It's the Goof himself. Oh, there he is. You got a kiss from the Goof. Everybody gets kisses from the Goof. You guys listen, you guys are set up. Here's what it's like, and this is Disney Magic. Three of the Fab Five all together. Oh, Pluto! He's on his way. Pluto's gonna go find somebody. Oh, somebody's sitting back reading, and he's like, nope, it's time to say hi to me. We have a way to drive like that. All right, guys, we've just stepped out of the lobby. There's a side door right near Artist Point. This is just outside. Now, look, I'm gonna pan around and show you guys. So, that's what on this slide. How beautiful it is. So, right here is this creek. Now, we showed you inside that bridge and the bubbling brook. Now, it comes out through here, it actually comes through here. And that's the water from the inside. And so, it comes out here. Show you a really neat overlook. So this is where the water comes, right? So that's from the lobby. And it comes down and it goes across this bridge. And it goes down and it goes over the fall. And it goes out the floor, which we're about to go to. And we're gonna come out here and we we'll show you this overlook. It gives you a great view of kind of lay of land and what's out here called the Overlook, or the Outlook. There you go. So, you got the pool area. All your decks, great little pool spot. That line of kids right there is for a slide. Chairs, and then there's the resort itself. Look at this. This upper room has those Windows poking out. The way up there is really one of the suites that has that corner deck. Now, through the reflection, you see the waterfalls, but let me see if I get a better view of them. Hold on. Hold on. The falls are here. And there's the fall. So that's the water that comes from the inside. It comes down, goes in the falls, and all the way through, and it goes into the pool. Wow. Okay. So let's quickly go down and take a look at the pool area. I want to show you guys this. So here's the resort. It's just, it's so picturesque here. I think I had mentioned in the beginning, it is really immersive because you do feel so far away. And yet, literally, you can see the fireworks from Magic Kingdom from here. So we're going to go through here. Now, this is a really cool little stair down to this rock outcropping. All right, so we're going to go down the stairs. Now we're back down the floor. Now here's a better view of that waterfall. And the resort, pull back a little bit, let you guys see how neat that is. Look at that. I right, take a picture of that, all right. So come here and I'll show you the pool area real quick. And so there's the pool area we talked about. Now the water comes from that falls into the pool. It's really interesting. We must get pumped back up. And there's a whole pool area, right? We saw it from up there. I'm gonna come around this way, show you guys this. So this is the path that goes around the side. And going this way, loops back into the building, but if I go to my right, which is what I'm about to do, it kind of goes back out. I'll show you where that goes. That's the walk area through here. Now 
Now they have a splash bar for the little ones. All right, really kind of a cool one. It's got the baby dumping bucket and it's got the slide. Now, if you keep going this way, this is so picturesque out here. This, that's Bay Lake. And you see the boats zipping around. And there's some of the boat transportation that's gonna be coming out from Bay Lake. You can see some of the boats out there now. Wow. Okay, this is just plain beautiful. The cabins are down that way, which would be for a different vlog, a different day. But this is the boat ramp. People coming off the boats now, right? And that's Bay Lake. So the boats go down and around, and Magic Kingdom is behind those trees. So we'll come back this way. So if you're staying here, you would come down the boat ramp, you grab a boat, go over. Coming back, you get the resort boats from Magic Kingdom, they take you here. For those who don't know, that actually cuts through and goes right near the contemporary. And there's this little channel that goes over actually the road and goes out right into the main part of the Bay Lake and then connects out to where Magic Kingdom is. We're coming back and there's a water park again, a little splashy park, super cute. And now this is the geyser. Geyser's not going right now. It goes pretty regularly. And we might sit. But I wanted to show you this. We're not going all the way over there right now, but I wanted to show you. That's geyser point. Geyser point is way on the outside of the outskirts of the property, but that is an outstanding bar area with excellent food. It is a fantastic, great reviews for people. That's a place to come. It is just wonderful. So, Geyser Point, from the back side of the pool, got to walk down and around to get to it. Great spot. We have not, and will not, and have not seen the geyser which will come out of there. So Old Faithful is not being very faithful right now, but that's where the guys are go. Then we shoot water in the air. Wait. 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 Okay, I give up. So <laughs> that's it. So that's that. So here's a different view of the property. So I want to show you this real quick. Thank you. We call it a day. So this is... This is one of my favorite places. Shop. And guys, we're on our way out. So listen, this is your floor parts after dark. We are going to start heading back now. I want to thank you all for your support and all the attention you give the channel. Please go ahead and like this video so we know that you want more of this resort content. We've seen a lot of response to our resort videos. We want to show you what it's like to stay in these places. So you know what you're kind of getting when you pay that dollar. Also subscribe to the channel. We provide a lot of other content that really just covers everything in Disney and everything in Orlando area to really maximize the trip here. But with that said, guys, listen. You guys have a fantastic day. Like and subscribe. I just want to give you one more view. Stalling, I want to give you one more view of Will This Live before we sign off. We can end there. And there it is. Guys, George Floor Parks After Dark, you have a fantastic day. You guys take care.